cancer. It's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it Pikeville Medical Center will be at Hillbilly Days handing out job opportunities. Anyone is welcome to talk to a recruiter at their booth located at the Pikeville Methodist Church at the corner of Main and Huffman. Various positions are open to those interested in giving an interview during the festival. So uh, you know, I'll be there. Um, some of the other recruiters are going to be there this year. Uh, the booth is located in front of the Methodist Church um, in downtown. Um, so looking for a good turnout. So we have some clinical positions open. We have some non-clinical positions open. Um, some scribes, healthcare access rep, ma uh, materials management, uh, a lot of those positions are open right now. For the crowd that, you know, that we had last year, hopefully have, you know, around the same amount of people come by. So, you know, we, uh, like I said, we're having um, open interviews at the booth. So if you want to come by and get a job, we'll give you information about the position at the hospital and we'll give you an interview too. With so many people moving through the streets of Pikeville, PMC hopes to find a few new employees. After interviewing and applying, contact information will be kept on record to ensure a quick and easy hiring process. So I'm excited to be able to reach out to the large crowd that the Hillbilly Days Festival brings and be able to explain all of the job opportunities that we have at PMC. I'm hoping to bring some of those folks from our community on board. Um, so of course it's going to be a condensed version of it, but we're able to um, bounce off what all PMC has to offer in a short period of time. People will be able to reach out because we'll have uh, our iPads there for them to be able to apply while they're there waiting. Uh, we'll have a QR code for them to give us their contact information. We'll have our business cards readily available to hand those out as well. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.